you doing here? One more vlog. It's a continuation of uh, building my lift garage. And you can see this is where I'm, where I'm at. Got my concrete floor in now. Um, moved uh, the lift, the scissor lift from the my main my main garage into the uh, uh, second stage of my lift garage. And now I can lift it up as high as I need to. And then, uh, once I got my, my tire equipment, next next step, now that I got the concrete floor, is I found somebody that had a garage door they, need, they wanted to get rid of. And 10 by 10, and it's perfect. We'll go right in here, just like I need it. So right now, I'm just measuring, measuring where my, my tracks need to be. And then uh, get those secured. Then I'll be able to go get the, the actual door panels. Get those, get those installed. Then main thing here is it is 10, 10 feet, so I need to make sure it's not going to interfere. Interfere with the uh, the lift when I lift the vehicles up. Because at the very most, yeah, you'd shut the door. You'd be able to shut the door and then just go ahead and lift the vehicle all the way up. Which you probably want to do anyway. This is a continuation of building my lift garage. Well, I got my doors. So now i got to put them up. Getting the uh, front, uh, front track installed. The thing is now you got to... I'm able to secure it to the top beam. That was fine. Now I gotta make it so I can put it two by fours up for this to secure on. So now I gotta put uh, quote quote footers on the bottom. And then uh, to do that, you gotta drill drill into the concrete. You get these uh, concrete lag bolts that uh, you put in there. Um, unfortunately, I don't have a hammer hammer drill drill um, so it's just plain um, just a plain drill um, drill it down drill if you got long enough drill um, concrete concrete drill drill it down through the concrete if you can um, this is going to be this will be all right because it's um, more than more than half the more than half the uh, depth of the the bolt because it's going to come up about an inch for uh, these these things here to lock into the concrete as you're pulling up into it. So that's where I'm at right now. I'm going to do the same thing to the other, and then we'll make a uh, uh, put up a put up a stud for this one, and then there's got to be a stud on the outside. So then you make your door seal. Yeah, the reason the reason I made I got them so long is so I can put another piece of two by four on top of that because bottom one is gonna sit on here, sit sit on here, and I'll get another piece of two by four to go on top of that, and then the next piece will be able to sit on top of that. The next step, next step, we go and pound it. Pound it down in there. I'm using a 3 8 3 8 bolt, so you're going to need a 3 8 drill to mate with it. <laughs> this concrete's only... Uh, a week old so it was a good time to get that drilled because once it's really hard you will need a hammer drill to put that screw put that screw in there
Okay. You can go. You can go even deeper with it, but I'm gonna go. I'm gonna stay. Stay at that depth right now. Um, I thought I was gonna be able. Might be able to crank it up high enough that uh, I can put another two by four on top of that. But that's all right because you can always screw. As long as you got your bottom piece here, then you can go ahead and screw another, put another piece on top of it. And that's basically how you do your, um, actually your headers all the way, all the way around. So you can put two by fours attached to them. All right, there you go. There's one. <laughs> now you do the exact same thing over here. And we'll go ahead and build a stud to uh, screw these, screw these into. And I'll have, a, I'll have my front part complete. Then you gotta take these, these are gonna be fun. And this has gotta go up and hang down. Gonna have to hang down, hang down off the, off the rafters here, so. Unfortunately, it didn't come with those those braces, so I'm gonna have to make some. Always something. Okay, so that takes care of number two. Now what I'll do is I'll come back with the uh, probably a, probably a cutting wheel, and uh, I'll zip those zip those tops off of there, and then I'll drill out a big enough hole. On both of them, what I'll do is I'll put a piece of two by four on top of it, pound it down a little bit, and then I'll give me my marks. Then I'm going to take the ziz wheel and then uh, cut the excess stud off of there, and then I'll put the drill out the two by four holes big enough to go over the nuts, and then uh, I'll go ahead and we'll screw the screw the next two by four on here. Um, after I get my first first piece of two by four on there, or uh, first stud stud on there, so I just grab my cobalt. I put a five inch cutting disc on it, and uh, I've just zipped the zip those bolts off of there real quick. Those. Yeah, we'll put the, oh, the two by four. We're gonna start standing the two by fours up here. And it's gonna sit just like that, um, facing up on the on the new two by four. It's gonna sit right across here, and then uh, gonna do a second one. It's gonna be right right flush, sitting on the deck, and then uh, it'll be uh, attached to the other. I'm gonna just do do a two piece. Uh, Two, two pieces of two by four. Ow, 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 ow. Hot, hot. That's where I'm at. All right, three hours later. I now have my support up there. They're all bolted in, attached down to the bottom. Now, as soon as I get the door in, um, or get the door panels on here, then I gotta, um, I'll be beefing that up. I'll be putting another piece on this side. Um, and then that'll, it'll now strengthen that a little bit more, but also I gotta, it's gonna have to come out a little bit this way with another piece. Um, so you're able to put the skirting and the insulation that's needed for that. 
so that's where we're that's where I'm currently at when it uh, getting that uh, secured and then uh, next nef next difficult part is going to be getting the upper the upper uh, railing across because we're talking uh, I got to get something to hang down probably either uh, metal strips two by four attached up there to uh, secure the outsides of that rail. 